Hello, Douglas County. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County, Georgia, and the Public Information Officer for the Fire Department. Welcome to today's edition of Douglas County's COVID-19 Update with Dr. Janet Meemark, District Director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Welcome, Dr. Meemark. Good morning. Thanks for having me this morning. Oh, our pleasure. Today's Monday, April 19, 2021. What are the current COVID-19 numbers in Douglas County? And is there anything new that you can tell us about the COVID variants? Yeah, so um, currently COVID numbers have us um, just under 15,000 cases for Douglas County and 14,766. And we, we have continued to see people dying from COVID. So we, we're up to 257 deaths that are um, being reported from COVID in um, Douglas County. Um, the number that we all look at every week or every couple of weeks is that um, um, the cases per, per 100,000. And, you know, we've had it down to the low 200s, um, low 220s, um, but it's come up a little bit to 265 per 100,000. And so remember, um, 100 over 100,000 is considered high transmission. And now we're at 265, which is two and a half times that. This is the window this week that I'm um, really the most concerned about. This is the second week after spring break and the Easter holiday. So it's not um, it's not unusual that we are seeing a little bit of a, a bump, but how much of a bump and hopefully not a surge are we gonna see this week? We have seen the hospitalization numbers um, over the last two weeks. Um, they have come up a little bit from their uh, the lowest numbers from this surge that we had reached. Um, they've come up a little bit, but they're they're okay. They're hanging in there, and there's nothing of concern. But we do watch those trends in the hospitals. Um, the big news, though, really is the variants. And so um, if you guys um, have been keeping um, track of this, uh, the CDC is no longer reporting the daily numbers of the variants. And now we're just kind of getting percentages. So I think it's today or tomorrow we'll get the new numbers. But we went from um, the numbers of reported variants that we had that was looking at about 21% that we were seeing in Georgia. Last week got up to 45%. So they'd more than doubled in a week of the number of variants that we were seeing. And so that is quite a concern. The CDC reported that it was um, the B117 variant, which was the one that originally um, originated in the UK, is now the most um, uh, common circulating strain that we're seeing. So that is quite a concern. It is more contagious, but the good news is it might not be more deadly, but it is affecting a younger group of people. So what we're seeing in the in Michigan that is um, really having a tough time battling the surge right now is 30 to 50 year olds that are being um, impacted by this new strain of the virus. So it's really important that we continue to get vaccinated because that's uh, that's how we we battle this with our preventative measures. Okay, I hear you loud and clear. Tell me something. A huge topic in the news right now is the Johnson and Johnson vaccine. What can you tell us about this? Yeah, so there were six cases of a, um, a rare blood clot in um, in um, brains of, of folks. So they had six cases of this with um, almost 7 million um, doses that were administered. So that it's very, very rare. Why this got triggered was that it, although it's a very rare um, um, adverse effect that you would see, it's more than you would see in the general population, you know, when you do it comparatively. So what is spectacular about all of this is that the fact that the the government the CDC and FDA were able to catch six cases out of seven million doses is really unbelievable it went they went through that bear system the adverse reactions you know we all um, clicked on to after we got our vaccines that's how they were able to catch it so that's how important that thing is for those of you that um, are participating so what they were finding, is, finding so far, it's in women um, that um, um, had developed this clot. And so um, they're looking at each of the cases and what may be in common with, e with each of the cases. What they're seeing is that there seems to be a little bit of an autoimmune component um, that may be related. So what to expect? So they put it on halt last week, and then now they're continuing to look through all of the data. Um, what I anticipate is they'll come out with some new um, guidelines 
guidelines and recommendations as to who should get the vaccine and who shouldn't get the vaccine. So, but we'll wait and hear. Um, they may uncover more stuff, but right now it's on hold. But you know, the majority of folks did quite well getting the vaccine. So please be reassured by that. Um, that most, I mean, millions and millions did just fine, and it's a, it's a very good vaccine. So we hope that um, we can continue using it in a little bit. But we're all paused right now. But remember, it's a very low number of cases, and and so um, we hope. I mean, we hope that everything will turn out just fine. But it was a great safety mechanism that happened that we were able to to pick that up. So that's that to me is very reassuring in this. Okay, thank you, Dr. Meemark. What can you tell us about vaccinations in Douglas County? Though? Yeah, so um, so for the state in general, we've done over 5 million um, doses. So that's great. We're coming right along. In Douglas County, there have been over 43,000 doses that have been administered. So um, for the um, for people that have gotten at least the first dose, we're up to 19%. So that's great. Fully vaccinated folks, we got 12%. So it's just catching up. But every week, we got more and more people that are getting vaccinated, and that number keeps rising. So I'm really excited about that. And appointments are, are more readily available. So I want to make sure everybody knew they're not going as quickly as they were. So if you you've been on the, the fence about it, please go and sign up um, at our web website or the state website and um, get a, um, an appointment for the Arbor Place Mall because they're not filling up super quick. So that's good news. If you're been, you've been waiting for a time that's going to slow down to get it, get it. Um, we have the, the Pfizer vaccine over there. And so it's none of this stuff about Johnson Johnson right now. We'll get you the Pfizer vaccine and you can do it in a nice relaxed setting. So please sign up and get your vaccine. Dr. Meemark, are we seeing, are we still seeing a lot of vaccine hesitancy? Yeah, so, you know, we are, this is a stage that we're kind of hitting that. So, you know, at first it was like this backload of people that really wanted to get it and we didn't have enough vaccine. So you remember, you know, only a month ago, we were in that phase of it. Now we're in the catch-up phase where we have appointments available and we're asking folks to come on, let's get let's get vaccinated. So now what we're seeing is, you know, for whatever reason, you know, I, I don't like the word hesitancy as much because um, there's a lot of different reasons that people are not getting their vaccine. So, you know, is it an access issue? Is it, a, um, you know, an appointment issue? What, what kind of issue is it that folks are having? But, you know, some people do, um, we've been doing Doing some outreach events and what we're finding is that you know people want to see that you know people they trust are getting the vaccine so like their pastors and ministers so we're seeing some of that so it we're kind of hitting this next stage where um folks are kind of coming out of the woodwork to get vaccinated but some people need that extra information and that is okay these are brand new vaccines and so um, we're trying to get some word out there and education and bring the vaccines to you in different places so if you look on our um our sites you can see where, where we'll be at at different places to get vaccinations. Oh, that's great. I understand that Governor Kemp recently lifted many of the COVID-19 restrictions. What are your thoughts on this? So, you know, um, it is what it is. So, um, you know, we got to be cautious. And so I got asked yesterday, you know, they said, well, we're going to be having these meetings. You know, we know about the, the new guidelines. What are your recommendations? My recommendations remain the same. You know, if you can spread out I mean, if you're outside, it's best, right? If you can spread out from each other, um, um, maybe you don't have to wear your mask, but if you're gonna be in close quarters, and if we have 19% of our people in Douglas County that are vaccinated, that leaves 81% that may not be vaccinated. So, and we, you know, I just told you numbers have increased. We're not in the safe zone. So I tell people, please continue to exercise caution. Um, these these um, variants and the vaccine mutations happen very quickly. And you notice all of a sudden we will see that people are hospitalized and we got people that are dying and find out after the fact it's a, it's a variant. So please just, you know, use your common sense and exercise caution when you go out in public. I continue to wear my mask when I go out in public, but like I was at a soccer game yesterday and I there's nobody around me because I make sure I sit by myself. So I got to take my mask off and relax um, and relax outside. So, you know, use your, your, your common sense in what we've been teaching you for the last year. And if it looks like it is going to be relatively safe, then, then you can proceed. But Please don't gather with a thousand of your closest friends or a hundred packed, you know, together. Um, that's not the safest thing to do right now. We still are seeing a lot of outbreaks. 
That sounds like some great advice, Dr. Meemark. Is there anything else you would like to tell the residents of Douglas County today? Um, you know, the same thing I just said, you know, when you're out in public and you are unsure of, you know, people's vaccination status, you're going to be around a lot of folks, make sure you wear your mask. That, that makes a big difference. Otherwise, just try to stay back a little bit, okay? Um, and get vaccinated, please. If you have any additional questions or anything, we have a lot of stuff on our website, but, you know, take a vaccine and um, it, that's what's going to help all of us to get back to normal. So thanks, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Meemark, and please have a great day, everyone. You too.